This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. I'm now inside of the Chad composition. So far, just to review this really quick, if we go to scene, we have Chad, double click on Chad, you're now inside of that puppet where we have our groups set up and ready to go. So I'm going to start at the top with front arm and using the puppet pin tool, I can come in here and just zoom in and I'll click once at the shoulder to establish that pin. You should note that the mask or the mesh, I should say, should be covering the hand and the arm as well. Let's make sure that our expansion is set to zero. We can change that at any time, but might as well set it there right now. I'm also going to establish a pin in the middle and then near the wrist right here. Actually, let's put it in the middle of the hand like that. So if we were to come in here and test this, you can see it reacts like this. Now it's a little bit jagged. So I might come in here and just increase the density of the mask. And let's just put it up to, let's say 10 for right now. And actually I'm going to undo those movements and we'll set it to 10 just like that. Okay, so make sure your expansion is set to zero and we'll start with a density of around 10. So now we want to go to the next layer. I'm just going to collapse the effects on front arm and then go down to front leg. Once again, start at the top. And you should still have your expansion and density settings from what we just set up. Come down here where you think the knee should be, add another pin. And then you can decide if you want to add one or two pins to the leg here or the foot. You could establish the toes and the heels separate. That's what I typically do when setting things up like this. So feel free to do that as well. It does mean you'll have to move more pins in order to animate out the rig. Just keep that in mind. So we can collapse that and then move over here to the body. The body, we can, of course, include the head. So we'll start here and click once on the top of the head to establish. And then we can move down. We'll add one here to the neck. Move down here. We can add one, let's just say, around the waist, about right here. And then we'll add one to the pelvis, about right there. And then we have the back leg, which will follow a similar pattern of that of the front leg. So let's come down here. Just establish where you are. You want your pins like that. And then we have the back arm. So come up like this. So come in and establish those points. So right there. So there you go. We now have those pins in place. And if we were to come back here, let's just collapse this. Make sure we collapse everything. I can zoom out a little bit so we can see what's going on here. You can see now that we can go in to each individual piece of this and we can move things around and do what we want to do with it. So I can come down here to the body. And in order to access this, you'll have to make sure you click on the puppet effect in order to gain access to it. But you can come in here. You can see I can bend the head like this and we can move the neck and the waist and the pelvis to accommodate. Now, the only bad thing about this, if you want to call it a bad thing, is that none of this is really connected. So now when you move the body, you'll have to come back here to the arm and just kind of come in and reestablish where you'd want that to be just like that. So there are some considerations to make, but by coming in here and separating out your meshes, you have more control when it comes to animating rigs in After Effects. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.